we have my 2019 Mustang GT with a Whipple up against this 2018 Mustang GT with a Pro Charger. What's up guys, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in to another video. It's your boy Rush, back at it again. Tonight we have some live action coming right at you here. We have my 2019 Mustang GT with a Whipple up against this 2018 Mustang GT with a Pro Charger. Um, you guys have seen the videos on the channel with these two cars, both amazing beasts. And I know a lot of you guys have been very curious as to how they do uh, up against each other. So tonight is the night we kind of get to figure that out, see what the cars are uh, you know, capable of. So, um, we're gonna give you a little bit of the, the updates kind of on the Pro Charger. If you haven't seen the videos, you don't know what's done to this thing. I wanna have the owner go ahead and kind of explain to you what he has done to it. So uh, go ahead. Um, so 2018 GT, uh, it's a manual. It's got the uh, Pro, Charge, Pro Charger P1X, uh, upgraded uh, intercooler, uh, fuel mods, uh, fuel pump, uh, the DW450, uh, with the booster pump and uh, the 1050 IDX injectors, uh, no cats, uh, MBRP street cat back. Um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, and uh, yeah. About how much power you, is it putting down? Would you say? Um, and the yeah, so it put down around 740. You know, it's got it's got some kick. For sure. Alright guys, so now you guys know what's up with the Pro Charger, I'm going to go ahead and kind of walk you through my Whipple uh, Mustang. It's uh, obviously another manual car as well. I have an MGW short throw shifter, of course extreme cat back. Um, the car is running on uh, pump gas, but I do have some 100 octane in there tonight to help kind of boost up that 91 uh, rating. So uh, it's stock Whipple calibration, stage 2 kit. Uh, it's car dynoed at around mid 600s and uh, making about 520 torque. So uh, yeah, that's kind of it. All right, so you want to kind of give us your prediction? What do you think is going to happen tonight? Pro Charger versus Whipple? What do you uh, think, what do you think is going to happen? I know you have more power than me, but uh, I think torque wise, we're pretty pretty close. Yeah. Uh, well, I know your your car's pretty uh, quick. So uh, on my part, I just got to uh, you know drive it right for the most part and uh we'll see what happens um i know yeah my my car has a lot of power too so you yeah know, just... i know your top end is gonna be pretty crazy i think i'm gonna get out probably in front of you just because of the way that whipple kicks on is pretty pretty aggressive but i mean you are on 85 too so that could be kind of helping you out on the lower end of things i'm not sure but you know i'm just kind of i'm very curious to see myself and i'm really kind of not sure where the outcome will be because some people tell you once you get rolling that the, uh, the pro charger makes enough power to, to get the mustang moving real well so i really don't know but we're gonna give it a best effort the only difference that we'll have is that you have running 355 gears i have 373 so um that's going to kind of play a role into like how the the rolls play out but uh you know tonight's the night we get to figure it out so if you are new and this is your first time make sure you subscribe to the channel hit that subscribe button and drop a like on the video if you enjoy these type of videos and uh, let's go ahead and head out to mexico let's do it all right guys here we go heading out to mexico i'm pretty excited about this one to be honest because i was really kind of debating between the two getting a pro charger and getting a whipple so um, it's gonna be interesting to see what the difference is between the cars and it'll probably help a lot of you guys out that are interested in getting one of these uh, Kind of superchargers for your car. So anyways, we're gonna head out to Mexico get a runs in and I'll put you guys on uh, GoPro cam real quick over here
football is not playing around, baby. Mexico right now. Damn, that was an intense couple of runs there. All right, guys. So that is gonna go ahead and kind of complete our runs. Radar going crazy. All right, guys. So we just got out of Mexico, letting the cars cool off here. Definitely solid set of runs. The Pro Charger did some work and the Whipple did too. So you want to kind of tell us what your take is on the, the, the runs? How, how are you feeling? Yeah, I, uh, they were good runs. Um, your car really put it down. I wasn't expecting, you know, such a, uh, a pull from when you would hit fourth. But, um, I mean, I did, I did spin at, you know, Five yeah, grand. I saw you a couple, like a couple times. You were spinning, and you were just getting out of it. It was nasty too. Your car was getting really sideways. I was getting scared. I was like, "Oh man, he might hit me right now." I just, I just felt like that was like the the gear. You know, I would get you, like you know, if I had to get you. That would be the one. That would be. The that one. was your second gear. Second gear. Yeah, so he was going down in second gear, guys. These are the three fifty five gears, yeah. but it was kind of blowing the tires off this thing. I was getting yeah. sideways. So usually what happens, at least with me, is like if, if that's the case, I usually try to ease into it, make sure I grab traction first and then kind of really go into it, like dig all the way in. But, you know, I, I try to get grab second two a couple of times because I saw you going for the slower rolls, man. I was freaking out. I was like, shit, I'm going to spin right now. So a couple, I think we did some 40s in my car. We'd get a little squirmy. I kind of back out of it a little bit and just go into it. Yeah. But for sure, man, those things were moving. What surprised me, I'll say from my end, is definitely after the Whipple. I thought it would fall off its face and like the Pro Charger would just come zooming up top. But it wasn't really the case. They were really close. I mean, like it was kind of, they were fighting back and forth between the two. So like the Whipple would pull a little bit and you see the Pro Charger coming, but the Whipple was still kind of going strong. So I don't know if that's the gearing or what it is, but you know, overall, the runs were pretty solid, pretty good uh, runs. And uh, you know, the, the Pro Charger sounded sick. <laughs> Hey man, um, you know it's a, it, it it put down work, uh, put in work for a, a baby pulley. So yeah, so he's saying he has a baby pulley. He's pushing like low boost on it, and uh, but I mean it's making good power though, so that's pretty impressive. For what it, for oh. what it is, it makes it makes it does really good power. power. Yeah. Uh, so I yeah. Just, I just need to get you know. You gotta get you like some welds or something, man, to put the power down in that rear end because if you spin like that, that is dangerous, man. That is sketchy. Um, but yeah, guys, so anyways, hope you guys enjoyed tonight's runs. If you did, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This was kind of a little bit of a comparison between a Whipple and a Pro Charger, uh, trying to show you guys the differences in how these cars run. Um, you know, all the runs were done in Mexico, of course. Uh, and uh, yeah, man, the cars did work. It was, a, it was a fun time, both manual cars, so hashtag save the manuals. And uh, if you enjoyed tonight's video, make sure you stick around for another one. It's Rush, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.